Hey guys, it's that time. Let's have a look and see what our subscribers got in the March Trout and Redfin box. And this one is full of stuff. We'll put the uh, sticker came with. Just, you know, we all know that aren't. And uh, this box was worth 80 bucks with a subscription cost of 49.99 plus the postage. So. Let's see which ones to go into. I think I'm going to start with this one. It's a crank from Fishcraft. It's called the B Cranky. 46 mil, 7 grams. Goes down to 2 meters. So you're pretty much going to be using these in your little reservoirs and impoundments, especially for your redfin. Got a bit of orange on that belly there, but a UV reactive, so you can use it in your murkier water, low light conditions. You're going to cast this out and just do a slow retrieve, maybe a stop and pause kind of thing. Redfin and your trout, but definitely your redfin are going to be all over this. Got a nice little rattle in there as well. Easy to cast. Cool little way to start it off. Nice. Um, let's... Your hard body will go into a plastic. These are probably my favorite plastics ever for anything. Um, but for the trout, these would be just awesome. So it's supposed to look like a... I don't know, a shrimp sort of thing, but it looks like a crayfish. But for the trout, it actually resembles a bug quite well. So if you fish this unweighted on a surface and just sort of moved it a little bit, I reckon you'd actually get them coming up and smacking that. Otherwise, your redfin are going to destroy these, throw it in your little yeah. ponds, reservoirs, lakes, streams, wherever you are. Put it on a little jig head. But the action that you actually get out of those back legs is very surprising. Yeah. 2.6 inch. Yeah, have I even said the name of the lure yet? It's the free rig shrimp. Uh, 2.6, but the colours in the whole range, yeah. stunning. And they're, the outside's sort of like a matte texture, and I don't know, no one's sort of talking about it yet, but I know the Japanese people have figured out for some reason fish bite that better. Yep. So, Hold on. you should be able to destroy some trout and ready to these. Top lure. Um, I'm going to go to another plastic. Favourite of mine. Have a look at that bag of bait. That is Fish Arrow Flash J series, and this is the J2. So the J2 are the pintails, and they just look absolutely sensational. Yeah, if they're hitting little gudgeons, small little bits of bait fish and that kind of thing, you can rig this weightless, weedless if you've got a uh, number one wide gap, you could do the strolling technique, that's beginning to be very sad. popular. You get a fish or a spine hook and put it through the top there. Um, especially for redfin and trout. I was going to say, the trout waters. on the scope oh, is probably going to blow up soon too. Yeah. So you, you'll start to hear about these soon, people, actually. Yeah. Super realistic. Got a cult following, especially in Victoria, on the trout and redies. And it's the following because they work, and they work really well. And um, they just came back into stock after all the COVID disruptions they back in so yeah give them a bash Love to hear that uh let's stick with the soft plastics then so this is from Demiki the f grub they do a whole bunch of different grubs but the f is a very very small it's one and a half inches uh i don't know if you can sort of see it picking up on the camera there but the curl tail has uh, a paddle. paddle tail i guess it's a on paddle it. curl tail so the curl will be doing its curl action while that paddle is going to be also kicking side to side so if you're fishing one of the lakes or something that the fish have seen every lure ever, maybe give that a go. Or if you're just fishing another stream, yeah, it's proper be finesse, crunched. proper streams, tiny, and perfect for what you can talk about now. We got Tamiki loot jig heads. Now this is their edgy style jig head, which is actually pretty perfect when you're in the skinny water and you're chasing the trout and the redfin on the real small lures. This is a 1.2 gram. It's in the glow head. The hook size, I'm not 100% sure, but we know it fits in the F-Grub because we checked it. <laughs> and that is a pretty cool thing. And it's very hard to find small jig heads to go with super small plastics. It's almost impossible. You can always sure. find the, yeah, you can always find the plastics, but you just can't find the jig heads. We've done that for you. So that'll match up with the F-Grub. I wouldn't use it on any other plastics because it's a bit too small, but for those F-Grubs, absolutely perfect. Over to you. Alright, so this is the Dirty Doctor, Dr. Dirty, whatever you want to call it, in the 40. So Your that's favorite. the little baby. I love these because I'm a big time brim fisherman. 
but the trout and everything are going to crunch these. It's tiny. Look at it compared to my finger there. It's it's very small for a vibe. Uh, so you can cast it out and let it sink. If it hasn't already been eaten, then just start hopping it. Yeah. Uh, if you're in a stream, cast it out and just roll it back. That's you can fish really skinny sticks. water with that. Yeah. yeah, and being that size, with how much action it puts out, it's going to get yeah. railed. Um, the red fin... I'm never going to talk to you about this fish in the red pin. Give it a go and you will yeah. be shocked. You it reminds me of the um, Rapala, the ultralight lipless cranks we had. So yes. popular. We yeah. had so many messages where can we get more. Well, we've got an alternative. I love that Fishcraft have brought this out. I'm yeah. probably going to stock up a lot myself. They do a fantastic job. Well, that rounds off the March 24 trout and red fin box. A good selection of lures there. If you like what you see and you actually want to win this box, tell us in the comments below which lure your time first if you want it and if you want to subscribe it's actually one of our most popular boxes hop onto our website tackleclub.com.au go to your subscriptions and choose trout and redfin add to cart and that's it until next month tight lines catch you later guys